Hi, Peter with uh, Hammer in Hand out at the uh, Pumpkin Ridge Passive House uh, where we're happy to say we're dried in. We've got a roof over our head. Uh, you can see our window bucks have been put in place. Our exterior air seal is just about complete. Um, we're moving on to the interior to air seal there. So on the inside, we've brought the uh, OSB up onto our uh, vaulted roof. Um, on the exterior, again, it was OSB with uh, Prosico joint and seam as our air seal. As we come inside, we don't need something quite as uh, weatherproof as the uh, joint and seam. So we're moving on to a, uh, a SEGA air sealing tape, which will apply to all the seams. Um, as Val showed you previously, we have a piece of OSB that comes across our top plate that's been uh, sealed with the Prosico and then overhangs our top plate by about a half inch. That way we can tie our internal air barrier to our external air barrier with a good flange to receive the tape. Um, again, this was applied to the bottom of our joists, um, which we had built to uh, create our vault and our roof plane in the same truss. Uh, this will hold our cellulose for our uh, ceiling insulation. Um, once the air seal, once the tape has been applied to all the seams, we'll, we'll run a matrix of uh, two by two framing lumber to create a service cavity. This will allow our electricians, our plumbers, and our HVAC to get all of the um, mechanicals to the, to the different rooms without puncturing our air barrier. We will have uh, one or two slight puncture, uh, punctures um, for venting of the uh, plumbing, but that will be addressed as it happens. We'll jump right on it, hit it with some uh, joint and seam and get that sealed up. So here you can see um, the uh, flange of our air barrier. Again, it comes up the face of the exterior of the house, is tied at the top plate by Prosco joint and seam, and then comes in where it meets the internal air barrier. This seam, as well as all the internal seams, will be sealed with a SEGA uh, joint tape. As you can see, uh, this is about two and three eighths. So we have, you know, three quarter there, which will receive that part of the tape, and then we got plenty to roll up onto the adjoining sheet. That'll give us a great seal. Again, we'll go over that with a rubber roller to really make sure it's uh, locked in, and uh, move our way down the ceiling. 